Hello everybody and welcome to Quest for Creative. In the last episode, we made it to the moon. Wee boing. And in this episode, we have a choice. We can set up our rocket and go home because I have no supplies and I can't build a station or anything. Do anything, really. I mean, this is all the stuff that I have on me right now. Or, and this is what's actually going to happen, we can go hunting for a, uh, um, damn it, dungeon, a moon dungeon, or something cool, or I don't know, but, uh, the general idea is that I want to get, uh, uh, bah, I can't talk, maybe I shouldn't have started recording this, uh, but I want to get the tier two rocket and look we had an asteroid or a meteor or whatever it's called i don't know i try to keep track of it all but uh, it's hard for me to keep track of what everything is that went into nothingness catch it catch it i got it and it is raw meteoric iron which i believe i need for the tier two rocket but uh yeah so i need a tier two rocket to get to Mars. And my idea is that I'm going to go to Mars and there I'll build a base, a Mars base. Um, that way we can start playing with, uh, you know, all of the really cool stuff in Galacticraft, like the airlocks and stuff like that. Um, wee! I could still fly, so <laughs> bouncing around the moon is kind of pointless. Um, the only reason I do want to fly as opposed to bounce around, because bouncing around is fun. Look, there's plant life on the moon. There are blue things on the moon. What are they? Boing, boing. They are Natura's bluebells. So we have plant life on the moon, which means two things. There's a source of water, and there's a source of carbon dioxide suggesting other life forms on the moon i would also point out that nitrogen has to exist as well because plants kind of use that to breathe at least i think that's how it goes it's been a little while since i took biology class in high school but i'm fairly sure nitrogen is required for plants to live uh, and so far i am seeing nothing just Bland, gray land. You know, like I'm on the moon or something. Um, so I guess I will poke around. And if I find something, I will come right back. And I keep looking in the craters because that's where things are. That's where the dungeons are. They're actually in craters. Which, um, it looks like there's something ahead of me right here on the map. That is a very weird-looking crater. That crater? No, not that crater. It's over this dune right here. Yes, that is a... That's that's something. There's definitely something there. I don't know what, though. And it goes deeper. I think we found a dungeon. Wow, I didn't have to cut. Look, we found a dungeon. Yay. All right, so what is this? This is tin. Okay. Is that cheese? Nope, that's copper. Oh. Um, holy sh... Um. Are you guys seeing this? Um, did... You guys saw that, right? The creeper was there, that it was there, that it was over there. Um. The evolved creepers seem to have evolved even further. Uh, dragon egg, dragon egg, dragon egg, power three, iron. I kind of already have a stack of dragon eggs, but they might be useful later on. What the frack? Um, this is a problem. And this is where the glowstone torches come in. Boop. I have no idea what the hell's going on. Something just blew up. 
Spiders are fighting skeletons. Trying to, anyways. Failing. Oh, now I'm an evolved spider. And I can't move. There we go. What the... I have no idea what the hell's going on. <laughs> it's just everything everywhere all of a sudden. Good thing I'm practically immortal. I don't have to worry about that. And I'm apparently eating through my space helmet. Um... Yeah, so I guess I just continued down this path. Oh, I didn't know the Evolved Skeletons had two two bows. Cool. And I like how all of the torches here don't work. Uh, come on. There we go. Okay. So yeah, we have all these Evolved Creepers. Oh, now I'm an Evolved Creeper. Don't you just love the morph mod? Actually, I'm sure quite a few people absolutely adore the morph mod. Personally, I dislike it. Mostly because you can morph into other players. Now, that's not a problem on this server, but on the last server, it actually became a problem. What the hell are up with the creepers? Seriously, it's just the creepers that are acting like they're bugged out. I mean, the zombies are a little bit faster. And bigger. And more vicious. But that's about it. <laughs> Come on, go away. Thank you. Uh, I'm finding that I'm not saying anything because I'm wondering what the hell is wrong with the creepers. I mean, they're running away from me. That's expected because I have the cat DNA. But they're moving so bloody fast. Is that a glitch? Is something glitched? I don't get it, but yeah, I'm very confused. Hey, there we go. All right. Name tag. Ooh, nice. Saddle. White stone. Safari net, gunpowder, and redstone. Nothing too major there. All righty. So this is what I was looking for. Though this does not look promising. Okay, I do see one. Evolved skeleton boss. Okay, apparently I can't hit them while he's holding me. Boop. But now he's dead. <laughs> Easy to do with my sword here. All right. Okie dokie. Dink, tier one bosky. Right? Oh, I'm still a zombie. Hang on, let's fix that. Uh, yeah, tier one dungeon key. Oh, and I got a yellow heart for doing that. I'm sure that will be useful in the future when the green hearts show up, but they have yet to show up in... Uh... Wait, what mod is that? Tinker's Construct. Yeah. They have yet to show up in that mod, so... How did they get over there? Damn. Creepy ass. Glitchy. Creepers. Boop. Uh, Sonic glasses. That's trippy. Dragon egg, dragon egg, dragon egg. Uh, moon buggy, which is actually kind of expected. I kind of expected to get the moon buggy. Couple of white stones, which if I remember correctly, actually give you kind of like an extra life. Kind of-ish. Um... It's like if you get hurt, they'll heal you or something. I'm not 100% sure. Um, is there anything else I really, really want in here? No. But the sonic glasses are fun. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay, so we see nothing. Almost nothing. I can barely see. But you can see... The, foot per the footsteps, like if I look down, it's my footsteps, you can see. I quite like these things. They're actually pretty cool. Um, but it does make it kind of hard to tell what's going on, obviously, because I can't see fuck all. <laughs> Let's take those off. They look weird, too. 
Uh, not that one. Where's my hat? There's my hat. I'm keeping the Sonic glasses, though. Just for shits and giggles. All right, so I got a moon buggy. That's kind of cool. Not really useful. The moon buggy's kind of hard to drive. So I'm not terribly worried about that. And I tend to get the moon buggy first. So, yeah. Nothing too terribly major. So I'm going to go hunt for another dungeon and uh, see if I can get something slightly more useful like the tier 2 rocket. Though I don't know if there's other special things that are in the dungeons. I don't know. I guess I'll find out sometime soon. Well, looky what we have here. We have a moon village. Yay. This was definitely man-made. Wait, are those torches working? Oh, I bet you they're... Yeah, they're glowstone torches. Okay. And look, we have moon Knights. Out of inventory space. Hello, Mr. Tall-Headed Alien Villager. You don't trade. Which is a little disappointing. There's actually, like, nothing really to do with the alien villagers. Or anything. They're not even useful. Like, you can't kill them, morph into them, and get, like, space breathing or whatever. But, I mean, if you need, like, water or plants or something like that, I mean, it... You could, I mean, there's a source of it here. I wonder if you can, like, survive on the moon to the point where you could actually, like, go nuts building things. Oh, my oxygen levels are getting kind of low. And I haven't found that other dungeon yet. Well, off to see if I can find it and then to head home if I don't. Oh, and look. Right here is the next dungeon. Well, that's perfect. Should be just enough time for me to go through this dungeon. Plop. Before I go home. And refill my oxygen levels. It's always, always cool. So far there are no mobs. Which is actually kind of creepy. What the fuck is that? Y'all saw that, right? <laughs> Does that mean there was something under here and it had a hat with a finger on it? Maybe that's where all the mobs are. They're actually just underneath the area here. I uh, don't need lungs. Technically, I don't need these white stones either. It's not like I'm going to die anytime soon. Boop. Boop. Another type of uh, evolved zombie. I don't know what the difference is, but yeah, it's an evolved zombie. Random wall of moon rock. Okie dokie. Boop. Hi. Boop. Ugh. If I remember correctly, the evolved creepers actually explode with a pretty serious bang. So you don't want to screw with them. <sighs> Here we go again. Hi. Oh, good, you have a way out. Yeah, same old, same old. I'm not impressed with the bosses so far. <laughs> he just tries to throw you at lava. But unbeknownst to him, I heal in lava, so it's not like it's a threat to me. Now, I have a really good question. Where did they get that sound? Seriously. That is a crazy, crazy sound. I wonder where they got it. Come on, key. Thank you. That is a really crazy sound. Did somebody record that just for this game, or did they pull that from somewhere else? Alrighty then. Tier 1 key. Into hole. We got the moon buggy again. Don't care about you. More dragon eggs. Another safari net. Those things are useful. And I don't care about anything else. Alright, I'm going home. <laughs> we'll come back some other time and uh, 
look for that, but uh, I guess we can make the moon buggy. I mean, that that's kind of cool, isn't it? I guess. Maybe. Alright, so I'm back here at the landing zone with our pretty sweet looking little flag here. And it's time to take off, so... Launch pad. Fuel loader. Wait, is that power? Oh crap, I always forget. Boop. No, that's power. So let's turn you that way. Coal generator for power. Which means power is on the other side, so that's perfect. Um, put some coal in there. So it won't generate heat just yet. At least I don't think so. No, it's not producing heat or energy just yet. I think it has to get up to 100% hull heat before it starts generating. Yeah, there it goes. And we are getting power, so this will work. This will work. This will work. Um, then I need partially filled fuel canister, which gives us not a hell of a lot. But we plunk down our rocket here, go in here, load fuel. Boop. Uh, C. Well, you can see we're already cranking up our fuel. Let's see where it stops. Does, will it get to 100%? This is an insanely efficient rocket. No, it got to 60%. Okay. Well, I guess technically that makes sense. Um, we must have used 40% to get to the moon. Whee! And yeah, so that's full. Oh, so I can't stop loading because there's no fuel to load. That's weird. Boop. All right, and you don't need to be running anymore, so let's just turn you off. Uh, let's actually do this. Boop, boop, boop. Since I will be back, and right about here is the landing zone, the actual landing zone, then the fuel loader and the coal generator will still be here, and I can make this just, uh, you know, uh, uh, the central moon area that I work in because I don't want to build an actual base. All right. Um, do I need to worry about anything else? No. It's off to back to the overworld. Yeah, that's it. Not Earth because, you know, it ain't Earth, but off to the overworld. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. This is boring. Let's go. Thank you. And off we go. I'm pressing Alt to look around. I'm far too used to space engineers now. Wee! Do I get to see a pretty picture of the moon underneath me? Like we saw, like we see over Earth up there, or the overworld up there? No, I don't get to see the moon. Mildly disappointing, but okay. Yeah, no moon. Let's see, the sun's over there. Does that mean nope? I'm not seeing the moon at all. When we made, when we left it, we left it in the fracking dust. And off we go. And somehow we can, we're just. The, the sounds of the engines are fading away when we took off from the moon with no atmosphere. Oh, but we determined that there is an atmosphere. There has to be an atmosphere because we have plant life. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm pulling shit out my ass. That's standard fare for me. Yay, I'm parachuting with a cat on my head. There's my stuff. Where am I going to land? Oh, holy shit. I'm landing on the farm. <laughs> I did not expect this. I landed where I took off. That is extremely unusual. On the old server, I landed where uh, spawn was. Not where I took off from. And you jumped. Must have got an updraft or something. Hmm. Boop. Rocket pad. Rocket. Fuel. And we're home! Yay! Alright, so... Let us... Let's see... How do I do with the dune buggy? I guess... Boop. 
unlock some schematic. All right, so I put that there, hit unlock. Now I have the moon buggy and the tier one rocket. All right, so now I have to make a moon buggy, which involves probably a lot of crap that I don't know what it involves. Hang on. Buggy. All right, so a whole bunch of heavy duty steel plate, buggy wheels, and buggy seat. How do I make buggy wheels? Leather and compressed steel. Um, boop. And a buggy seat is just compressed iron and compressed steel. So this is going to take a lot of compressed steel. Um, so let's see what I got. Heavy duty plates, plenty of that. Actually, I should probably empty out my inventory. That would probably be the wisest course of action. Hang on, I shall be right back. And I'm back, and I have all of my stuff out of my inventory and all the little parts for the buggy, which should be relatively easy to make. So let's see, the buggy chair was there. The four tires were on the outside. There's a thing. What the shit was that? Was, was that from this thing? Hang on. Let's back off from this. There's just sparks appearing out of nowhere when I do things. Interesting. <laughs> Boop. All right, and then just for shits and giggles. No, I can't. How do I do this guy? Oh, I need to do buggy storage box. Oh, let's do that. Why? I have no idea. All right, so how was the buggy storage box? That is this guy. Compressed steel, iron. Yeah. <laughs> so a bunch of compressed steel, and I think it said I needed three of those. Boop. Uh, iron. And then three chests. Boop. Okay. So let's do this again. Next. And that's how you make the cargo ship. Like the cargo shuttle. I'm just not doing that because I don't have the computer controlled yet. Which, I you get that on Mars, and we're going to have some fun with that. Alright, so now I got a buggy with storage space. It's so tiny! <laughs> it's such a tiny little buggy! It's so cute. It's like a little cute little remote control car. I love it. Alrighty. So let us head back to the moon. This is our fuel loader here. So boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, and a boop. We still have lots of fuel. For some reason, this is not completely full of fuel. Why? Oh, why? Oh, why is the oil not kicking up on this thing? Why is that going so slow? What the crap? See, that's coming from the Tesseract. From... Just Chrono. Am I out of power or something? I am! Oh, wow. This killed all of my power consumption. The uh, solar panels don't produce enough power for this. Trippy. Okay. I would take a wild guess that I... Oh, I do. Awesome. The chunk loader Tesseract still has all this power to it. Let's see if we can do that. Me. Chunk loader. Set. And... Bloop. Cruising now. Let's see. That's oil. This is the refinery which is actually gaining oil, fuel, no idea. Are we losing power? Did they ever actually fix this glitch? Yes. Yes, they did. Oh, wow, did they? Uh, well, they might not have actually fixed the glitch. Hang on, let's fuss with it for a second. Boop. Boop.
they may have actually fixed this glitch. Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, I needed to do that. Boop. Huh! They fixed the glitch! Oh god, that's actually kind of awesome. See, this is why I don't fiddle around with glitches too, too much. Because they tend to fix them. Alright, so we got a redstone energy cell. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nope. Nope, they straight up fixed the glitch. I'm going to have to produce power legitimately now. Damn it. Hm. Well, that'll get my... Or, I guess it doesn't really matter. Not terribly, anyways. Okay, so, back to... The moon. Because why the hell not? Wee, I like how I'm losing all this power. Oh, right, because I'm killing off the actual power because this thing doesn't run like it's supposed to. Ha! <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny. No. Uh, so used to other controls now. 39.0%. Uh, that is not going to be enough fuel. We need 40% uh, at least. Um, F5. I'm not kidding when I say I'm used to other controls. Uh, we are completely out of power now. What the hell? Yeah, it straight up stopped. Did I kill the Tesseract already? No, why isn't the Tesseract outputting anything? Did I disable the other one? No. I have no idea what's going on. Something's broken. Gaining oil. We have power. We have power. All right. Apparently, it's doing its thing. Apparently, that's what I did. I don't know what I did. But we have full fuel now. So. Boop. Boop. Uh, let us stop loading your fuel. Boop. And then back off to the moon. Isn't it amazing how I'm just making this all just this very trivial thing? It's like, yeah, I'm on the moon. Let's go back to the planet. All right, I'm back on the planet. Let's go back to the moon. Just, it's a thing. Nothing major at all. And it doesn't take that much fuel either. I'm just kind of pulling it out of thin air, apparently. Making fuel from just random energy that I find. It's a shame my power glitch went away. That means my drills won't work anymore. Well, shit. <laughs> I guess I'll have to expand my solar farm. Uh, solar panels. The same exact problem as in the real world. They're fucking expensive, and they don't produce that much power. Okie dokie. Um, well, we have some... Visitors. Whee. Bad news for you guys, I can fly. Alright, that was slightly unexpected. Um, well, <laughs> I was looking for some sign of how early in the day-night cycle it was. Like how early in the night it was, but... Well, I can't find that because we don't have a moon on the moon. Um, wee. Buggy. Ooh, this thing's pretty. W to accelerate. W to accelerate. W to accelerate. Inventory slash fuel. Shit. So how do I put fuel in the damn thing? Do I need a fuel loader? Wee. Oh. Leave me alone. That's 
considerably annoying. Boop. Where'd it go? Oh, I love how its little an or little thing here is 3D. That's awesome. Oh, well, these mobs are going to be annoying as crap. Um, wait a second. Didn't I have three stacks of glowstone torches in here? I remember making four stacks of glowstone torches, and I remember putting three of the stacks of glowstone torches in my bag for this exact reason, because I have no more torches in my inventory. I really don't want to wait for day, because that would just take four can ever. Can I just sit you by here, or do I need a pad? Apparently I need a pad. Or something. I don't know what the hell I'm doing! And these mobs are just making it fucking annoying. I would point out it was only halfway through the day-night cycle when I was here last time. You know, when I left. So it's not like I would... You know, it's not like it would have gone to the day cycle. Oh, would you just die? You're so annoying. No fuel to load. Now there's fuel to load. There's no power. That should be fine. Boop. No fuel at all. Um. Hmm. Something seems very, very wrong here. Let's fire this thing up. Get this thing actually producing some juice. Maybe it's because I don't have enough fuel? Possibly? Which I'm going to grab the spare fuel that's in here. Bloop. And the rocket. Just so I have that, just in case something breaks. Alright, so are we loading fuel? Boop. No. Buggy fuel tank requires fuel loader to fill. Okay. We. So if I... Yeah, that doesn't work. Oh, well, I'm going to die. <laughs> um, bloop, bloop. Take off, take off, take off now, take off now, take off now. Uh, this countdown. This countdown. I forgot to refuel my oxygen. Oh, you fucking bastard. Where'd the rocket go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm very slowly dying here. Yeah, so I need... For the next trip and for the next episode, hopefully I don't die, I'm going to need... <laughs> He's on fire. I'm going to need oxygen, and I'm going to need spare fuel. More of it than I normally carry with me, just in case. And I need to figure out the buggy. So, assuming I don't die on the way back, which would kind of suck considering how high up I am, I am going to see you in the next episode, and as always, keep playing the game, and have fun.
and somehow I survived the trip the entire way from the moon to the planet. I am a god. <laughs>